y'all, Ross here, very TV. Happy Friday. I made it back from Vegas, all one piece. That CES show was great. I got a ton of footage. It's going to take uh, quite a bit to edit it, so I will be putting out a video about the show. And I did find technologies that fit RV, and yay. Okay, tomorrow there's a little parade. It's called the High Jolly Parade. You gotta come to this if you're in town. I mean, it's just a kick in the butt. It's small town USA. There, there'll be a camel. <laughs> it's just kind of a unique thing about quartzite. You gotta check it out if you're into this kind of stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna show you where it's at. The parade route's only about a mile long or so. But it's still, once again, cool. If you don't see it, I am going to film it and I'll post it. Okay, we're good. this is Plymouth Avenue. And this is, uh, we're coming right off Main Street here. Straight on, that was a little dollar store. On the right said Discount Solar Guy. Anyway, we're going to head on up. We're going to pass the cop shop, Quartzsite Police Department. And then we're going to go up here past the uh, Town Hall. What a pretty day. It's in the, going to be almost 70, they said today. A little bit of wind. Okay, this is the intersection of Plymouth and East Quail Trail. You just want to go straight. See the airplanes on the left there? That's the start of Town Park. Just keep going past all that. And see this area to the left? That's a good place to park you don't want to get too close and walk in or I'll show you up farther where you can park. All right, just through this wash. Okay, on the left, see all those vehicles? That's the dog park, quartzite dog park, which is really cool. You can actually bring your puppy down here too if you want to use the dog park and watch a parade. Now see this pavilion in the back. This is where the parade actually ends. Is this whole area? It'll all be all set up. They'll have entertainment, a band, uh, live music, food, few booths, type vending, and all that. And this is where it ends. And they do have parking in here, but it gets pretty crowded. The street's a better place to park. All right, I'm gonna head on up Plymouth. And I'll show you the actual parade route, and you can park along there, too. Okay, you see that bike path on the other side? You can't park on that, but uh, you can bring chairs and sit out there, ride your bicycle. But on the left here, you can park. And what a lot of people do, they just back in, they'll sit in their vehicle and watch it go by. Right there on the left, that's, uh, that's Celia's Garden. Then also right here is the... RC Airport. With this whole stretch right on the left hand side, the parade will come down through here. And you can park. Normally that's about where I set up. Okay, we're going to go around this curve, which Plymouth turns into Tyson. And you can also park on the left hand side here too. There's also another bike path on the right hand side that you can view it. Now the parade actually starts just right up here at the fire department so you can see it's not real long but it's a just a kick in the rear even just to see the camels is pretty cool the guy dresses up like a she uh, chic or whatever <laughs> it's fun okay okay if you insist I'll go launch a drone <laughs> you give me an aerial look at this If you're ever in need, this building on the left, there's medical services in there. They got imaging, all kinds of stuff. For a little town, it's pretty good. A couple doctors in there. Alright, let me pull off here. I'll launch a drone. Get a good look at it. I'm guessing the whole parade route's like a mile. It starts at 11 on Saturday, 11 o'clock in the morning. Up we go.
this will give you a lot better look. Okay, right down there, uh, the cross street up there is Central Avenue in Arizona 95. It's the main access into Quartzsite from the north. Okay, you can see where I'm parked. That's where a lot of people will park. The firehouse is where it starts. At 11 o'clock tomorrow, Saturday. Then they go straight down Tyson here, around the curve. And that's a go any place you can see it. I mean, it's not that big. Get a little closer here. Then it heads on down Plymouth. And I don't know if you can see. Let me go up a little higher here. You can see the RC airfield. And then just past that is where the parade ends at where the dog park and the pavilion is. There's a good look at Quartzsite. That's looking straight off to the east. Some of those trails out there are part of the Arizona Peace Trail. Look at the traffic. Constant flow now. That's looking off to the west. Straight on is that uh, state trust land. A lot of rigs out there right now. A lot of rigs everywhere. And there's a look back towards downtown on Central and back towards that park. Okay, I'm going to land here. Then I'll go around the other side and get a, one more aerial shot over there. And there you go. Probably a lot of YouTubers will be here filming. They were a couple years ago. I missed it last year. But this year, definitely going to film it. Go around the corner here. I'll show you where I normally set up. It's a pretty good view. Also, if you want to park along the parade route here, get here kind of before... 10 10 30 because they will close the streets off if you try right at 11 you won't be able to get in here you'd have to park clear down at the park that bench right there on the left that's by the city people go there every night and watch the sunset it's a perfect view okay i generally set up right in here somewhere You'll see the van. You'll see me. Should be right in here. Okay, I'll launch the drone again. We go. All that land right down below there, that's all state land. It's all, uh, you can't camp. You can't even build in there because of the washes, the way the water flows through town. Okay, there's a much better look at the RC airport, straight down, and just past that is the town park, or the pavilion where the parade will end. That's a better view. Swing back around, and that's where it starts, right there at the fire department. Once again, it's not huge, but it's fun. I guess that's what it's all about, isn't it? There's tons of parking, plenty of room. A lot of people can fit down here. Cool looking cactuses out here too. If you're into photography or like taking sunrise and sunset pictures, this is the place to do it. This big cactus over here I use as a silhouette in a lot of the shots I do. It's perfect for photography. It's nice. No one's ever out here. Really peaceful. 
Okay, time to land. Okay, if you're looking for something cool to do, January 12th, 11 o'clock in the morning, the High Jolly Parade. Starts at the firehouse, ends at the pavilion at the park. It'll be fun. All right, this is Russ signing off now. Hope everyone has a great day. Don't forget to travel safe. Talk soon, hopefully tomorrow. Take care all.